Madam Chairman. Um, I guess my first question for the three witnesses, is the tide of war receding? Mr. Shalley? Uh, I think it's changing. I mean, is it, I, I'm asking if it's receding. I, I think it's it being clearly we're, st we're, we're we pulled back from Iraq. We, we are on the pathway out of so Afghanistan. How did things turn out there? Pretty good. I think Iraq is is more stable today than than we, many thought several really? years ago. You really think that? I do. I and do. you're uninformed, Mr. Sheehan. The tide of water war receding? There's no question in my mind in terms of al-Qaeda and its affiliates, my principal threat that we have pounded al-Qaeda's strategic capability over the last 11 years, and we continue to do so relentlessly in their primary sanctuaries. Al-Qaeda, I would footnote that by saying that al-Qaeda has shown some resiliency and potential to reestablish strategic capability in a few areas, but has yet to in do so. In a few so. areas, Mr. Sheehan? Strategic I, capability, they have yet to demonstrate strategic capability in those new areas as of yet. As of yet, none. Libya? None. None? None. Very little. <laughs> as a matter of fact, there have been no strategic I just attacks. came from Libya, Mr. I've, I've spent, I just came from there. I came. That's patently false. That is a false statement. How about, how about uh, uh, Mali? Do you think that uh, they're going to be able to re reconstitute themselves once the French leave? Senator, I've been studying Al Qaeda for 15 years. So have I, Mr. And I know Sheehan. exactly what it takes for them. See, and I have too. I'm asking you a question. And do you believe that once the French are leaving, do you think that they, Al Qaeda reconstitutes itself in Mali? They will attempt to reconstitute themselves. You think they will, since the people, uh, the African Command, have no logistics capability whatsoever? They, they, first of all, they haven't been totally defeated yet. So they, the question will be: but The will French they, are leaving. They are leaving, and yes. and we'll see whether AQIM will be able to establish a strategic capability from there over the years ahead. Did you happen to notice today that uh, Al Qaeda in Iraq and Al Qaeda in uh, Syria have announced their joint partnership? Yes, I did, Senator, and yeah. we've we've been tracking that relationship. That's a very close relationship they've had for quite a long time. I see. Um, and uh, in Syria, um, is there an increasing radical radicalization and penetration and increasing influence by Al Qaeda? We are very concerned about Al Nusra group. Which is, is there? Al yeah, I'd like to answer, have quite answers the question. It's a pretty straightforward question. Is Al Qaeda gaining traction? And more and in significant influence uh, in uh, in Syria. It's a pretty straightforward question. I would say that marginally, yes. Marginally depends on how you measure. Marginally, Al Qaeda is gaining more and more influence in in uh, in in Syria. Marginally, when I measure Al Qaeda. In terms of its threat to the U.S., I measure. I'm its asked the question I asked threat. was: Are the Al Qaeda gaining more and more influence and control in Syria? Al Nusra threat is increasing its capability in Syria. So, um, now, did you recommend, or, or or do you, is it your personal opinion, we should provide arms to the Syrian resistance? Uh, I, I'm not, uh, I, I, that's not part of the discussion here about that. Did you in your confirmation hearings when asked for your personal opinion that you re would respond with your personal opinion? Uh, I'm not sure I was asked about You're that. not sure? You didn't pay attention and to if your I, confirmation hearings? I was not asked that, Senator. And I, if I discuss the, that kind of policy deliberation, I would want to do that in a closed session. The American people should not know how members of our Department of Defense uh, feel about an issue of slaughter of 70,000 or more people and millions of refugees and decent. Well, let, let me ask this. Do you believe that there's a great risk of both Libya, of uh, both Jordan and uh, Lebanon being destabilized at the present course of events as they are proceeding? That's not something I track as much of. Ask us. Okay, Mr. Jones. Yes. I'm worried about that. Um, 
And would you say that over the last two years that there has been greater and greater 